What's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Malt. So happy to be here with you guys today. Um, I hope that you all had an awesome day yesterday, 4th of July. Hope everyone was safe shooting off fireworks and having fun with their family. I'm still out at the lake, Lake Murray, um, just hanging out with my family. I got a bunch of relatives here. We're just having a good old time. Um, but today I'm going to uh, do a special video for you guys. I did it on the Clash Army channel. If you guys haven't checked out the Clash Army, go check that out. Um, there's six of us on that channel and we're all just different clashes with different styles, so on and so forth. Um, go to the right side of the screen and look at the channels over there and you'll see Clash Army at the top. So um, go subscribe to that guys. I post videos on there weekly. So do a bunch of other guys. Sorry while I pop my neck. <laughs> but I posted a video on there on how to get easy Dark Elixir. I'm farming for Dark Elixir right now because I really want to get my heroes up. Um, and I didn't want you guys to miss out on that video. So I'm not doing the same video, but I'm doing it on the same <clears throat> content. So what I'm going to show you all first is a raid that I just had. You can see this top one right here with 3,525 Dark Elixir. That is awesome. So let's go ahead, go through this, and watch it. So you can see his base is, is pretty good um, when it comes to defenses and whatnot. So I take out his mortar, which was maxed out. Um, he does have his expos. One of them is really high level. This one right here. I'm not sure what level that is. I think it's three. Um, but you can see his wizards are upgraded pretty well. So are his teslas. But the whole thing is just about having a bunch of giants. You have some heal spells, some lightning spell spells, and a bunch of wall breakers. Okay. And my goal right here is to drop my giants down, have them distract, um, so that my wall breakers and my goblins can run into the middle of the base. So. You can see we got into the middle of the base right there, which is exactly where we want to be. So now we have about 110 goblins that we've been dropping off a little bit throughout. And right now they are heading straight into the middle, into that dark elixir, which is exactly where we want them to go. Um, our king is in there as well, and now we're just getting gold. We're getting everything from the center of the base, which is so awesome. I dropped my archer queen up there at the top. I use her ability quickly because... Um, I'm not going to keep her out there for too long. She's about to take out that other Dark Elixir drill right there. And then once she is done, um, I'm going to let her finish that up. And then we are going to close out um, as well. I drop off my last couple goblins down here um, to try and go after that. But as you can see, that's 282,000 gold and 3,525 Dark Elixir, which is a great amount of Dark Elixir. Um, and what I need is, so I need 55,000 to update the queen and 50,000 to update the king. Um, I definitely think I want to go after the queen because of her new DPS skills and whatnot. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do, but you guys can comment down below which you think would be more important for me to upgrade. Uh, I definitely think I'm going to go with the queen, try and keep them even um, just because she can shoot over walls and so on and so forth. But the king is a lot cheaper for me to upgrade. Um, I am, I'm going to get them up to level 15. I'm not going to 20. It's going to take way too long. I'm going to get them up to level 15 on my own before I upgrade to Town Hall 10. Um, and then I'm going to go up to Town Hall 10, which I'm super, super stoked about. Uh, that's going to completely change uh, my gameplay and all that. So yeah, but we have a full army right now. We can go ahead and take a look at this thing. You'll see that we have 15 wall breakers, 15 giants, and 115 uh, goblins. I do have a clan castle that is full, got some archers and some minions in there. And then we also have our king and queen that we're going to be using. Uh, and the spells that we're using are two heals and two lightnings, all right? So let's go ahead, let's go on the attack, see if we can find a base that has a good amount of dark elixir, but also that is pretty easy to attack. So if this one had more, this base would be perfect. You just drop a couple wall breakers right there on the side and you get into the center. Um, so I'm going to go look, hopefully I can find another one with 3,000 like that last one that I can get to, but I'm not too sure that it'll happen. Um, a good range for Dark Elixir for anybody that's wondering is up pretty high. Um, we might be able to do this one. 1,300 isn't too bad, um, and I definitely think we'll be able to take out this bottom section um, and get in there to get in there to the core where that Dark Elixir is. Uh, he does have two drills. You know what? Let's go ahead and do this one, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So we'll go ahead and drop off our giants, and we'll drop off a couple wall breakers, um, get them in there, get our giants going in, and bring in some more. And then we're just going to start dropping off our, um, our goblins right there. Let's go ahead and heal up our giants, and we'll go ahead and drop down our king. I really want him to go after that other king, but it doesn't look like he's going to. Um, and then we're just going to drop off some more goblins, and hopefully they will run in there to that dark elixir. 
Um, we'll go ahead and use the king's ability, get him in there. Yep, and as you can see, there are already some goblins in there on that dark elixir. Um, hopefully these, there we go. So if I drop them off right there, then they're going to run in there to that dark elixir, get the rest of that. We can take out this dark elixir drill right here as well. And there goes all of his dark elixir. So that was super, super easy. It didn't take that long at all um, to use. I'm going to go ahead and drop off up here as well. And um, we'll drop off our queen in this corner right here. We didn't even need to use our, um, our lightning spells or anything to get in there. So that was actually pretty cheap. Hopefully we can... Uh, get a good amount of of um, percentage out of this so that we can still stay at 50% and stay in the trophy range that we're at. Uh, it does look like he still has a good amount of elixir in these storages as well as some gold in those. So once we get through this wall, uh, we'll go ahead and... Oh, she's about to take a lot of damage. Um, I'm not going to be raiding for a little bit, so I'm okay with her dying. Um, depending on what she does right here... If she takes that out, then she should be fine. That mortar's not going to do too much damage to her. And then she'll go over and get the rest of that elixir. Um, right there. Let's see how much is in that. So there's a pretty good amount of elixir in there. Once she's done with that, I'll go ahead and surrender at 50%. And that's going to be it for that raid. So you guys see we got 1,300 dark elixir from that, uh, which is good. I mean, after a couple raids, you're definitely building up to a good amount. Um, and I was able to keep my trophies still in Crystal 3. Um so that's good definitely <laughs> excited about that raid we didn't even have to cut away or anything um so i'm going to go ahead and train that up again again it's 15 so just fill one whole thing uh with giants and then i do seven and eight and one um and then just go and fill everything else up so we used one heal spell which i guess we didn't really need to use um and then we'll go ahead and do about 60 i generally try and get it at about 30 minutes um, we'll bring this in and then fill this last one up and then that is going to be it but guys definitely try this out like I said it's worked pretty well as you see from those last two raids of mine that's um, three four almost 5,000 dark elixir in two raids so that's awesome and I know it's hard to find one raids with like three million or three thousand three million dark elixir with three thousand dark elixir it's definitely hard to find raids like that but when you do you should be good um, I don't think somebody with wall breakers would necessarily be able to do this on my base it might be kind of hard to get in there uh, especially with the goblins but um it may be possible i don't know but i generally look for one that's maybe two walls away from the edge that you can go after so definitely try it out comment down below if you guys try it let me know what your biggest raid is and everything guys let's get over a thousand likes for some easy dark elixir uh see if we can get up to two thousand that'd be awesome too but thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it guys y'all rock i mean that um i love making videos for y'all you make it easy for me to make them um, just because of all the support so thank you so much guys and hey as always keep calm and clash on for me right i'll see you guys later